Hello everyone and welcome to part three and the final uh, tutorial for the Art Impressions Halloween Journal. I'm Bonnie Krebs and I have been going through uh, steps one and two with you and now we are in step three and we are ready to complete our Halloween journal. So uh, before we get started, let me show you, uh, we have been through all of these pages and now in part three, we are going to uh, finish up uh, this section right here, we are going to go clear through to the last page and uh, we're going to do the watercolor projects first and then uh, just like the other tutorials, we'll do the watercolor projects first and once those are finished, we will assemble them into our journal and we'll actually finish it uh, in this tutorial. So let me tell you, uh, kind of as we go through here, what we're going to be needing. Um, let's start with the dies here. So we're going to be using this. This is from this set, which this is what we've used in uh, all the previous pages is this little jagged cutout accent page. So you can see it right here. We're going to use this accent page on the rest of these pages um, of the journal journal. And that is from this set. Um, this is 5604, um, the Halloween, Halloween journal die set. Uh, more sentiments that are from this set, um, 5603. This is the set that we've been using throughout the entire journal. And we're going to be using a few more from this one also. Um, more layering dies. We're going to be using these. Uh, these are just an uh, absolute staple for a journal because they're so convenient and easy to use for layering and just adding more texture to your pages. Um, the little front and back cat. So we're going to be using this one on the very last page. Uh, we're just using the front. We're still going to glue it together, but we're just using the front of it um, and setting it on these little pumpkins. But this little cat can go anywhere there is something like this. Uh, he could sit in the window right here. Uh, he can go next to the fence, uh, just like this little dog. So there is a front and back, and this set comes with the dies so that you can uh, you can um, stamp both of these, color them, cut them out, and glue them together. And that's how all the fronts and backs work. Uh, we're going to be using these now. These are brand new for this year. They're little mini twisters, and they just lot um, they just lot now excuse me, they just notch in to these little circles um, that have little notches on them. We're gonna go uh, through that. I'm gonna show you how they work in the journal, but they come with all of these stamps, um, the, the, uh, the left and the right. So you can see these two are a mirror image of each other. So are the pumpkins, so are the cats, and so are the little ghosts. And then also in this set uh, are the dies that cut them out and the die that cuts out the opening for them to notch into. That's also included in this set. So we're gonna be using that. And then uh, this set for the stamps, we're gonna be using this one um, to create this little um, truck. And that is this one right here. So we're gonna be using that. This is from the Christmas set last year, 5576, the little truck set. And then um, this one, we're gonna be using this set and that is for this page. So this little guy right here, this little bunny wearing his little pumpkin contest, uh, costume. I'm also using these little candies. Now this is totally up to you if you want to um, use these. I cut out these little candies. I, I put you know a little candy sentiment and then I tucked them in a little pocket right here. So that's totally up to you if you want to do that. But there are several little candies like this. And this set comes with the dies that cut them out. So I just stamped this little uh, bunny and cut out the circle. But the die comes with it so that you can cut this out completely. This little guy. And, you know, also the little candy. These things all come with dies. The little spider here, you can see him. Um, back here on this page, that's the little spider that comes with this set. So this is just a great set for your journal. It's got a lot of really cute sentiments that you can use. Here's where I got the Frightfully Awesome Halloween. So I've used several things from this set. I love it. Um, all of these little characters would be cute in your journal. Look how cute this little um, raccoon is. So these guys would all be really cute um, to use in your journal. So we're gonna be using that one. Uh, on this page here, uh, so we're using this little um, uh, gift card holder die set, and it comes like this. So here is the actual frame, and it's pretty long, and that's because uh, when this line came out, this was meant to be a standalone uh, thing that you could just hand someone that holds a gift card, and it's a little envelope, and then it came with different sets, like, like this one. This is the one that we're using. Here's another one of the sets that go with it, and that's the little coffee cup that we used in the Harvest Journal. 
But there are several. There's also, you know, a little cat that you could use for ha uh, Halloween also. But once you have the envelope, then you can add your um, your little set to the front of it. So we're gonna be using that. We're gonna modify it a little bit because we're gluing it onto a page. So we don't need the full uh, die that you can just hand over. So it's like an envelope, basically. And we're just gonna use a part of it, and I'll show you um, which part I cut out from this die set. But you can see there's extra little things in it. Um, so we're gonna use this, and then of course we're gonna be using the pumpkin um, gift card holder set. So 5342, this is the pumpkin. And then in order to use these, you have to use this, um, this die set. Um, let's see, what else? So uh, we're gonna need some pumpkins. Uh, we're gonna be using the pumpkins on the last page right here. Uh, I used this one from this set, and then I used one uh, from this set also. So these two sets have been the go-to in the journal, uh, but pretty much you could use any pumpkins, you know, from any set. Uh, if you have just one, just use that. If you have just this one, just use that. So, uh, but if you have them both, then you can do it exactly like I did it. So we're using these pumpkins on that back page. And then also uh, the little branch that we've used kind of throughout the whole journal, this one here. And then um, some leaves to create these little kind of dead leaves here back in the background. And that is this, just the very tip of it from the foliage set. So that is it. That is what we're using. And then, of course, our paper pack, our Halloween paper pack, uh, which is um, what we've used exclusively in this journal. So all the paper is from this brand new paper pack that is new for 2023. So, so cute and just so fun to do. So... Um, Let's get going on this journal. We're gonna do the watercolor projects first, of course, and then once we are finished with those, we will get on to the assembly of our journal and finish it up. So stay with me. Okay, here are our projects. We've got several little ones still to do. Um, let's start out with the little truck and the pumpkin in the back. So I stamped this with the two colors, so the dark blue, um, the 565, and then right over the top, whoops, not that one. <laughs> right over the top, the 969. That's for the truck. And then the pumpkin, just the dark brown. So just this one um, on the pumpkin. And then I just masked, masked off um, the truck and stamped that right inside. So uh, really, really easy to do. So we're gonna start out by just pulling the color out of the lines, um, just like normal. And we're just gonna drag this um, color out and then we'll add some color to it. And this will be so cute. We're gonna make this little truck purple, some of it purple, and it will just fit right in with our Halloween theme. Okay, this is about all we have to do for now. Just pull out some of this color. You know, obviously back under here, this is going to um, be set back from that, that little um, fender or a, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add some color now to my palette. There's some orange and some purple, the 636 purple, and some dark blue. So here is the dark blue, the 565, that we're gonna, we're gonna um, kind of blend that with the purple to get our sky. So we're gonna start out just by, let's start out with this orange and we'll just get our pumpkin done here. And we're just gonna leave a little highlight on the top, um, just like we have before. That looks pretty good. The little truck is carrying a very large, giant pumpkin. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. We're gonna put a cute little face on it, and it's gonna go perfectly in our journal, which is perfect. So many of these things just by changing out the color, you know, will just fit in this in this journal. You know, we can make anything, you know, uh, change the season out on, you know, so many of these um, images. And this one, this little truck was actually from the Christmas release last year. And it just, it's so cute with a little Christmas tree in it, but it's so cute with a little pumpkin in it too. All right, so we've got the little stem done. And now we can add some color to our little truck. And we're gonna start out just with some um, purple. And 
we're just gonna color the door and this little section. And it's okay if that, um, that brown kind of mixes in, it's totally fine. It gives it um, depth. And that's why we stamped in the, um, in the brown first instead of the purple. Uh, because we need that, you know, that solid undercolor. It's kind of an earthy color and it just kind of, you know, grounds everything. It's just, it's such an important part of this whole process. Uh, because we want things to look like real things, not stamped images of things. And we want to finish up with a watercolor painting, something that looks like a watercolor painting. And that's what we get. Okay, let's do the little wheels. And I'm leaving just a little highlight on there. And maybe we just add a little purple to and the little mirror. And I think that's probably all we need to do. I want to put a little shadow under here near this little fender and that will set that wheel back inside and back behind here. And then this you know, for the most part, we can add a little brown um, to it. So this is a 992. And we can add a little of this color to it. But we're going to keep it pretty neutral. And, you know, these areas, you know, at the top, those are going to have a highlight. So we don't want to have too much color on them anyway. Okay, we are getting finished here. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of um, blue, not that much, just a little bit of blue uh, to the window. Just like a little reflection. And a little bit to that little bumper. How cute is that? Just turned out so cute. And then we can add just a little um, shadow underneath. And then let's get our sky in. So we're gonna kind of mix these two together and then we'll just brush in our little sky here. The little night sky. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to get my, uh, my twin tone out and just get these little areas here that kind of need to be really dark. The little handle under here. And then inside this area. Okay, so let's get our little pumpkin, um, our little jack-o'-lantern face on here. And 
and we'll make him really happy, just like our other jack-o'-lanterns in this journal. They're all just so happy. And just love in this season. Okay, so now let's get our white paint out. And I'm gonna get out my tiny little brush. And dip it in my white paint, my PH Martins Bleed Proof White. My just favorite stuff in the whole world. stars in there and then we got to get our little teeth and this little guy is going to be finished and he looks pretty good. If you're missing a highlight, you can always put it back in uh, with your white paint. Okay, so this one is finished. So let's close this jar up and go on to our next one. And that is going to be these little guys, part of our new twisters. And they're little mini twisters. So there's there are two one on each side, and so they're mirror images of each other, so you wanna make sure that you stamp both of them. And then you're gonna color them both the exact same. So I'm just gonna color one on this tutorial, but you're just gonna duplicate it and do the same on the other one. So we're just gonna take out, take some of this color and just pull it out of the lines. And we're just gonna take some of this and just pull this color out. And I'm gonna add to my palette, I'm gonna add the 947 Brown. And we're gonna add some of this, this color in here. So, and then we're gonna take some of this, the 992. We're gonna take some of this color. It's just a lighter, um, cooler brown. Almost has a little bit of gray in it. And we're just gonna color this area in here. And it's okay if you kind of blend out these lines that are in the middle, we'll just put those back in. And then I'm gonna take my bullet tip now from my, um, my orange, and I'm gonna color his little beak. And my twin tone, and we're gonna get his eyes. This is really important that we get these eyes really dark. And then you can take your, your twin tone and you can put these little details back in, just like that. And then I'm just gonna take some of this orange and do his little feet. And again, this one too, you know, if you, if you uh, go outside of the lines, it's okay. Okay. 
Okay. That is it. That's how these are colored. Just so simple. Just a couple of colors. And just do the same on the other one. It's just the, it's the exact same image, it's just um, the reverse. Get that just a little bit darker. And I'm just going to take my twin tone and just get these little lines back in. Okay, there we go. We are finished with that one. And like I said, just repeat that same process um, onto the other one. And let's go on to the little ghost. And we might as well just get his little eyes in here since we've got our twin tone handy. And this one too, you're gonna to do this one the exact same way. Just get the mouth really dark. Like so. And then we're just gonna come along the side And pull this color out. So this is that same uh, gray that we did on the previous project. I just want to ink it in the gray. So not in the brown, but just in the gray. And then we're just going to come along the side and we're just going to put a shadow in. And that's it. That's all you have to do with these. They're so easy. And then he will cut out and he'll just be so cute. So you wanna do the same thing over on this side also. So just repeat this um, same process on the next one. Now let's go on to this little guy. He's so cute. He's got his little pumpkin costume on. So we're gonna use some orange. And we're gonna use some of uh, this brown. Uh, not that. Uh, some of this warm brown and some of this brown. So let's start out uh, with the little pumpkin. His little pumpkin hat, so cute and then his little pumpkin body. And then just stay in each section. This all finished. Darker on the sides. And this up here too. Okay, so now some of this color out and I just ink this also in just the dark brown and we can just pull that color out and we've got plenty of color here
and we're just making him pretty light. Um, you can add more color to it if you want to. Um, again, up to you. I've made him pretty light because I've got a dark, pretty dark background, and um, I want to kind of, you know, have him kind of show up in that dark background. So we're just taking some of this brown now, keeping it away from his face, his eyes. And when I stamped this, I left uh, his whiskers off. Um, it's a little easier to add color to it and then add the whiskers in later. So when I inked this, I just, I didn't ink his whiskers. I just thought I could add those in later and that would be easier. So then I didn't have to worry about them kind of bleeding into the color. Okay, so now let's get uh, some red on here. And we're just gonna get inside of his ears. And I just mixed a little bit of orange with it. And we're gonna just put that color on his cheeks too. and his little feet. So cute. So now, obviously we need to see his little face. So let's color in this, his little eyes, make sure they're really dark. And we see that highlight, don't lose that highlight. And his little, his little mouth. And this is where you can add, you know, the little, um, his little whiskers back in. stem on there and make sure that his little uh, paws are showing. cute he just turned out so cute and this little guy is going to be finished we're just going to add some background now and so our sky mixed with blue and we're just going to add some of this in the background now you could cut him out too because the set that he's in uh, comes with a die and you could cut him out and add him to your journal that way too. I just kind of stamped him in a circle and I just put some sky around him, but he would be really cute cut out and just added to your page that way. And then let's just put a little shadow under him and under his little paws. And there we go. We have got this little guy finished. So let's add some white paint to him. We gotta get our little stars in the background. Just 
just a little bit of this and we are good. All right, let's move on to the next project. And it is going to be this little one. So this is gonna be in the frame. We're gonna add the little cat to it onto the back of our journal. So let's do this one first. This is gonna be really simple. We're just gonna make these two little pumpkins and then we're gonna add the cat to it once we get it cut out. So when we go to assemble our journal, we'll put these two together. These, this, these pumpkins are going to be just like the other ones. So orange. Add some orange on here. Just so cute. I just love making pumpkins. And I love making jack-o'-lanterns. You guys didn't couldn't tell that, huh? <laughs> All the pumpkins I have in this journal. So many. And I'll you know what I guarantee I'll go back and think, oh, I should have added just one more little pumpkin in there. <laughs> and I probably will. Okay, so there's two right there. And we're gonna add, um, let's do our little stems here. And you can change these up too, just by you know changing the stem. So you can make one stem shorter, make one longer, and it'll look like you have a different pumpkin. Okay, so I'm going to add some sky in the background. So let's just get a little more blue here. We'll get this background in and it'll be easy to just sit our little kitty uh, onto this, onto these pumpkins. He'll just be on his perch. And we can just put a little shadow under these also, like so. And then let's do our little faces. And how about if they're kind of looking at each other? That'd be kind of cute. And maybe this little guy is kind of looking over this way too. All right, so now let's add some little branches in here just to kind of make this look a little wild for Halloween and let's add a few little uh, leaves in here. Maybe we just turn this and go down here. And you know, by the time you get to this point in the journal, you have this process down. You know, and it really is practice, really does make a difference. You know, I can look at some of my um, older work, even from a few years ago, and it's just, it's amazing um, how you will progress and improve um, as you go. You really will. 
And I notice it in, in I notice it in my work too all the time because I watercolor almost every day. And you know, I can tell. And you know, in your journal, you'll be able to tell from your first projects to your last projects. You'll be able to tell that you can you've improved because you've done so many things over and over again. You know, pumpkins and these whole um, these little branches, you know, adding these things to them. Um, you just, you get a more comfortable doing it and you don't get as stressed. And that's just, that's just confidence. Okay, this guy's got some big teeth here. Huh. And this guy's got some little teeth. And let's get their little highlights in their eyes. And they're so cute. And they'll be just perfect to put our little cat on this little project at the very end. So let's get um, him colored. So we're gonna move this over to the side and let it dry. And we'll do this little cat. And I'm just gonna get out, I'm gonna get some black. So just my black, and this is just an N25, so it doesn't matter what black you use, just a black or a gray. You could use a gray too. And I just ink this in the brown, so the dark brown. So we're just pulling the color out of the lines. And then we're gonna add some color to it, to him. And this little guy is cut out. So again, if you uh, get some color over the lines and you kind of mess up, you get too much color on there and you go outside of the lines, it's okay because um, it's gonna just all get cut off when you go to, do, to die cut it. So it'll all just work out fine. So I'm still, even though this cat is going to be pretty dark, I'm still keeping it fairly light um, by his face. Still keeping this pretty light in here. And we would just kind of work our way down uh, with this color. And just, you know, stay in each section. When you're working with these darker colors, you want to be sure to do that. Just stay in these darker, stay in these um, each section. Okay, and I always like to make these tabbies. I just never make one that's just a black cat. I think it's just so much more fun to make them striped. But again, totally up to you. Okay, now I'm gonna take my twin tone and I'm just gonna darken in inside his little ears here. And then we need to get his eyes really dark. And then his whiskers.
And then once we get um, him all cut out, he's just gonna be so cute. Okay. And that is it. That's all you have to do to color this cat. Just repeat this whole thing on the back side. Just get his little stripes in there and um, he will just be so cute. And I'll get him, I'll get everything cut out and then we will go to, uh, to the next step, we'll go to our journal and we'll get the rest of these um, uh, in our journal and we will be finished. This is the last part and so this is gonna be the last step and we'll get it all put into the journal and you guys, you will be finished. So here we go. All right, everyone, now that we have finished up our watercolor projects, we are ready to assemble them into our journal and finish this little guy up. So here we go. Let's look back through what we have done already in this journal. We finished the cover and the first page. And then uh, we kind of worked our way through here, put in the, our little window and our, um, <clears throat> our little wrought iron fence and then our spooky little house. And now we are ready to go on to this page. And I steered you guys wrong on the last tutorial. I'm so sorry. I had to remove this page and cut out these circles. And I took I think I told you in this in this tutorial, make sure if you have to if you have a cutout, you don't glue your page in until you have your cutouts down you know, cutouts done on your page and then glue it in. And I was totally wrong on that. I had you glue your page in and then uh, I had to remove it. So I had to remove my page and cut out these little um, circles so that I could notch in my little twisters. So um, be sure to do that. Just, just take that page out and um, add your accent paper to it on both sides and then use your little cutout um, to notch in your little um, twisters. And that's what these are. So there's a front and a back and you can put them in either way, it doesn't matter. And they just notch in. So you can see these little notches here on the circles. And that's how they go in here. So let's let's just put them in. So they notch in like this. And we're just gonna put this in here like this. Just kind of bend it a little bit and just let that just notch in. And now we've got this little um, twister that is just so cute um, in here. And you can see both sides of it. So when you when you close the page, you can see it over here on this side as well. So let's do the little spook. Put this little guy in and notch him right into here. And he is also in there and just so cute. And it just kind of adds another dimension to your, um, your little journal to have something that kind of moves and twists and looks three-dimensional on here. So that page is finished. Um, you could add a few little sentiments to it. Um, I cut out a little couple of little um, circles and stamped on some boo so we can do that. Let's just add that in here because that would be really cute. So we can just put this little boo right here and that page is finished. So let's go on to this one and finish this one. And this is um, just gonna be a little pocket over here. So let's add in our accent page. And let's see, where is that accent page? So we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the little, uh, the orange stripe. So let me grab that. And actually not an orange stripe, but an orange dot. So let's put this in, let's go ahead and glue this in. And I'm just gonna add some glue to it here. It's pretty bright orange. It's almost like a rust color. Just so cute with that black. I just love all of these papers. And really, you know, whichever one you grab, it's gonna look really good with the next one. So any of these papers, you can see, they all really flow well together. And the journal just looks like it's really cohesive and just goes together really well. So now let's do the pocket. We're gonna add this pocket. And this is part of the original die, uh, die set, your journal die set. Um, we used it earlier in the very on the very first page, so you guys know how to do this. Uh, I'm just going to fold the tabs back now that I've cut it out, and I'm going to add some glue uh, to these little tabs here. Just like that, and I'm going to just glue it to the bottom of my page right here. And just hold that down for a minute. It's 
This is such a cute, this paper is so cute too with the webs. <laughs> it just looks very Halloween-y. <laughs> is that a word, Halloween-y? Okay, so we're gonna add our little framed picture here. And that is the little, um, the little truck. And I went ahead on mine and I just added a little spook to it. Um, I thought that would be really cute, just on a whim. Uh, I just I just made a little, you know, arched area and put two little black eyes in it. And I thought he would be really cute kind of looking out of that truck. <laughs> He's just kind of a little hitchhiker. So we're going to put a frame around this and then we're going to put it in the pocket. So when I cut this out, I cut this out, the watercolor paper, out with the same die. And then I cut out again out of the stripe. So this will fit in here just perfectly. Okay, but we want it to um, stay together. So I'm gonna flip this over. And then I cut a larger piece of, um, of this paper. Uh, let me just tell you uh, what the size of it is here. Let me grab my ruler and tell you um, how big this is, in case you wanna just cut it. So this is, um, this is three, about three inches, three and a sixteenth. Um, by two. So three by two would be just fine. And basically you want something that's bigger than that center piece so that we can just kind of glue this together and keep everything into one piece. So I'm just gonna add some glue now to this. And then I'm just gonna glue this on kind of right here in the middle. Glue that down like that, whoops. Oops, let's just add a little more glue here on the edge. I guess I didn't get enough here on the edge to keep that glue down. Just flip that over and make sure that's really getting glued on. Okay. There we go. So you can see that's that's all just one piece now because it's all glued together. So then on the back side, we're gonna take another frame. Just a you could do the same one again as the front. Um, I thought it would be cute to just change it up and make it a little different. And let's add some glue now to this. This is all part of your original journal set too. So this frame is in there, is included. And I'm just gonna just lay, lay this right over the top, just line it up and make sure that is the same on here, on the front and the back, looks like it. And you could also add another watercolor to the back of it because you've got space back here. And um, on mine that I did, I put a little easel on the back so you can do that too because it can stand up and you could make, you know, a little painting that is personal to someone. Um, this one says Happy Hall Halloween, but you could put something else on there, just another little note, and stand it up. So this easel die also comes with your die set. So it is included. So you can take that easel and you can make something that will just kind of stand up. Or you can just make a little special little thing like this. And I, I've got the little Happy Halloween banner here, so let's just put that on. It's just cute to tuck into a pocket too. So let's just put this kind of in the middle right here. I think that looks pretty good. And we've got our cute little framed uh, image that we can tuck now, tuck into our pocket. So just like this. And that can go in there. And this page now is finished and we are ready to turn the page. So now we can go to this side, and this side is the little guy that, um, the little bunny. So this one right here, he's gonna go over on this page. So the first thing we're gonna do, well, let's add, you know what, let's just add our other little boo here. I think we need another boo, and maybe right here. I think that's cute. All right, so now on this page, let's add our accent, little accent page, and let's use this bright, this bright purple chevron so cute I love all these bright vibrant colors they just it makes Halloween just seem so fun it just reminds me of candy colors you know bright candies and 
um, just those bright oranges and purples just make it so fun. So now this guy, uh, I just cut him out with a circle. You could cut him out completely. He's got a little die that goes with him. So you could cut him out and pop him up if you want to, that's up to you. Um, so I'm, I just cut a circle cut him out of a circle, and then I cut one that's a little bit bigger. These are all from our die sets, our nested circle die sets. We've got squares, we've got ovals, uh, we've got rectangles, um, and then we have double stitch dies too. So nested dies and then double stitch dies. So there's a die to really to fit everything. So I'm gonna put him, gonna glue him in up here like that. He's got his little pumpkin costume. He's just so cute ready to go trick-or-treating and get some candy. So here he is sitting on his page. And then we're gonna add um, just a little sentiment down here. And I just I just cut a little rectangle. Uh, most of these little rectangles that I use are from the rectangle die set, the nested die set, because there's really a rectangle for about every size. And they just fit perfectly in here. And you know, even if you um, need to trim them up a bit, um, you can trim one end, you know, off and make them a little bit shorter, but they really, they're for the most part, they work really well. So I put here for the candy, cause I just think that's just the perfect thing to put. He's here for the candy. So let's put this little sentiment in here. And then what I did in mine was I made a little pocket this little pocket is just, it's so cute. It's got the little um, scalloped edge and just add a little um, glue now to the tabs. And this can go right here, right there, maybe just a little bit higher, right in the middle. Just hold that down for a second. You could put anything in this little pocket, but in the original journal, I cut out those little candies and I just stamped them in a uh, permanent ink. So just a stays on black on cardstock, just white cardstock. And then I just colored them and I popped up a couple and glued them together. And I just tucked them into this little pocket because it's so cute, you know, with candy here for the candy or the candy squad. Uh, just so cute. So that's up to you if you want to do that. It's part of this set. So really, you know, you've got the set. If you've got the set, the die cuts all of these out. These all have dies that cut them out. So no fussy cutting on this one. Uh, you could also just do away with the pocket and glue it onto this little frame too. That would be really, really cute. Uh, you could put a couple up here by him. So they don't necessarily have to go in a pocket, but the little candies are just, they're really, really cute to add into your journal. Just another little thing to make it more three-dimensional. So let me move this out of the way now and get back to our original one here. So totally up to you on the candies. You can add those if you uh, want to do that. All right, now to the last page. We are down to the wire here. So we're gonna just add a little sentiment onto this page. So let's start with our accent page. And let's glue this in. There we go. And then I just picked another, you know, pattern paper. Like I said, you know, you could really pretty much grab any uh, paper in the paper pack and layer it. Uh, I just, I just made this just to layer it on top. And then I've just got a cute little trick or treat yourself. Uh, because it's going to be right across the page from that little coffee um, or the gift card holder. And a coffee, a little coffee card is just perfect to put in the journal because you can, you know, get one for $5 or $10 and just add it into your journal. It's just a really fun, cute little surprise um, to add into here. And I put it on this page, so the, the largest page. And let me just show you um, how I cut this out. So here's, here's what we used from that, um, from that die. And here's the original dice. So here's the die. You can see it's pretty large and it's because, um, this folds forward and it creates a, an actual envelope that you can hand someone. But because we're attaching it to a page, we don't need to have all of this down here. 
So here's what I actually used of it. So let me lay this over the top and I'll show you what I actually used. Here's, here's all that I needed. And I wanted to use paper from the paper pack. And you know, this is obviously too long for a six inch uh, paper pack. So here's all we needed. Uh, I just ran through, ran this through my, um, my die cut machine and then I trimmed off the bottom and just kept a little bit of it. You know, this is probably about a half inch, but you could even do like a quarter of an inch. And then I cut off the flap at the very top, just cut that off. And now I've got the tabs like this and like this that just fold over. And then this tab here, just like this. So I'm just gonna glue this bottom tab um, onto here. And you can see that we have just created this little pocket um, that's perfect for a gift card. It just fits in here perfectly. And once you have this, this little uh, template die, you can get any of the sets, the little gift card holder sets that will go perfectly in your journal. So we're using the little pumpkin one. We did the coffee one in the harvest journal, but now we're using the little pumpkin because it's just so cute. So I, I put an accent, a little accent page down. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's a little small for here. So I just, I just took another little page like this and I'm gonna just add it in here. Just add another little accent uh, page and I can see that it's a, just a little bit long. So I'm gonna just trim it off. And I think if I just cut it right here, that will just be perfect. So I, I think layering these um, papers just adds so much more um, interest and it just, it makes them just so cute. So I'm gonna glue this in first, right along the edge. Just kind of right along the edge here. Make sure that's straight. You gotta get it on there quick because this glue, <laughs> this glue dries really fast. Okay, so now the accent page. And we're just gonna glue this right on the top. Like so. That looks good. And then right on the top of this is going to go that pocket. So that little pocket's gonna go right here and we're gonna drop it down a little bit because um, our pumpkin has a stem and we wanna make sure we, we don't have that stem sticking too far out. It's okay for it to stick out a little bit, but we don't want it too far out. So I'm gonna drop this down, you know, probably to about here and then I'm gonna glue it down. So now we're gonna just add glue now to the pocket. And we're gonna just place it right down here, kind of towards the bottom of the page. And just hold that down. Okay, there we go. And now we can add our pumpkin and you can cut this pumpkin out of, you know, whatever you wanna cut it out of. Um, it has all the dies included to do everything that you want to do with it. Now I cut out the mouth and then I'm going to just put um, a little black, a little black piece of cardstock behind it. So that mouth looks really black. You could also cut the mouth out and put it over the top, but I think it's, I think it looks cuter to um, just cut it out of the pumpkin and um, put, put that little cardstock behind there. I think it makes it a little more dimensional. So let's just add some glue to this. Like so. And there we've got our little pumpkin that we can put on here like that. We're gonna just glue that down. Uh, before I do though, um, Here's a little tag. So I thought it would be cute to put a pumpkin spice on here because, you know, pumpkin spice is good for any time of the fall. And I thought it would be really cute to um, add that. So I'm just gonna kind of tie this onto the back before I glue this down. Just tie a little knot here. Yeah, 
and then I can just trim it off. There we go. And I've got my little pumpkin spice. I can move this up just a little bit. Kind of up to the top. Gotta have room for his, his little eyes on here. So now I can just glue this down onto my envelope. And I can just glue it all the way down here on all sides. And we're just going to drop this down to pretty, pretty close to the bottom. Let's just tuck that little string in there so it doesn't show. Okay, and now let's add our little stem on here. I'm just going to glue just the bottom part of it because it's going to kind of stick up. And you can, you know, cut this out of whatever you want to. It doesn't have to be realistic. You know, it could be really whimsical. So there's our little stem sticking out of the pumpkin. And then we've got this little squiggly. So we can add this to it. Maybe we just add it right here. Just a little bit of glue. Get that little line on here. Like so. And then uh, we just need our the eyes on here. So I'm gonna just grab these little eyes and I cut these little triangles. This is These are all dies that are included in this set, the little pumpkin set. So it comes with two sizes of eyes. You can use whichever ones um, that you want. So I'm just gonna put these down here, one here, and then Another one right here. Let's make that a little straighter. And then a little nose, a little triangle nose. And we've got this cutest little pumpkin. And you know, the gift card just fits right in here. So let me show you. I've got a little gift card in here. I found a black one that would just be perfect in here. And so you can see it just fits perfectly into the little envelope. And it's just, it's so cute. Now see, I used something a little different on this one, but it's still just as cute. I used some white paint just to add a little sparkle to the eyes, but um, it's just, it's so cute to add that little gift card in here, just as an extra special um, treat. So here we go. We've got our little pumpkin spice. Um, tag you could use anything here um, you know something that's just gift for you or something like that that would be really cute too so now let's go to the back side because we can't leave the back empty we got to add something to it so let's do the last one here we're just going to add um, this little frame to the back we're just going to put this on here like this I love this little bat paper <laughs> I just think it's it's so cute. You know what? It's really hard to pick because you just want to use everything. And, you know, I just, I have a really hard time just, you know, narrowing things down and finally deciding on the paper um, because I just love all of it so much. And it's really fun when everything comes together. And I think, you know, when I first started putting these journals together, um, the most stressful thing was finding paper that would go together. That was really hard to find. Uh, paper that was the same, you know, had the same look. Uh, you want everything to kind of be cohesive so that when you flip through it, it, it sort of enhances your art and doesn't overpower it. So to find patterns that were small, but also to find things that were interesting and fun, um, it was really hard to find. And so when we started doing our own paper packs, that just changed everything for me. That made it just so much more fun and less stressful um, to do that. Okay, so we've got our little pumpkins that we did, and we're gonna glue this right to the inside of our frame. I'll just hold that down a little bit. We could just put this little, here for the booze on here, we could put this little cat now. Um, you could change and you could put the little cat 
um, in the window like this. This would be really cute too. You could just put him right in here and then you'd see the back of him on this side. Or you could put him on this side and see him through the through the front. So he's just really cute. He's got the back, here's the back side of him. And you could just put him, you could put him anywhere in your journal. So let's just leave him where we intended to put him. And that is right here on top of this little pumpkin. So we're just gonna glue him down. Just like this. And he is going to just sit right there on top of his little pumpkin friend. And then our little sentiment here for the booze, we can just put this um, anywhere. Where shall we put that? Maybe we just put that right here. I think that's perfect. Let's just put that there. I think that is perfect. And we are finished, you guys. We did it. This little journal is finished. Let's just add a little spider here. I just feel like we need to add another little friend to the back. <laughs> um, we have finished our journal, you guys. I'm so proud of you. You did it. You finished it, and I bet it is so cute. I bet you are just loving it. So please tell me in the comments if, you have, if you've made it, if you are going to make it. I would love to hear that. Um, let me show you how to fold it up. So once you have it made and you've got all these different um, things that are popped up and things going on inside and you're not quite sure how to fold it so that you don't hook, hook on things. So you wanna start out with the right side and you just wanna bring that page over just like this. And then as you go, you wanna bring each page over on top, of, on, on top of the next one. So just like this, just bring them over. And then this is the last page and then this is the front. And then everything will just close up and your little latch will close up your journal and it is finished. Can you believe it, you guys? We did it. I hope you had as much fun with this tutorial as I did. Uh, I hope you have as, fun have as much fun making this journal as I did. Um, I loved it and I love doing it with you. So thank you so much for being with me. Thanks for um, hanging out with me on all these tutorials. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Um, and I appreciate you guys. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at the next journal.